Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Treasure Corals, and I'm quite excited about today's video. Uh, we're going to cover two topics. I'm going to pay a visit to a local fish store called Candy Corals. Uh, some of you have asked me to come and pay Afnan a visit, so I did. Uh, we had a lot of fun and you'll actually get to see the facility as well as some of the awesome corals. And after that, we're going to come back to my frag tank. And in the previous video, um, I have shown that somebody in my aquarium is moving around uh, the corals, especially the spicy lemon favia. And uh, I think there's been about 10 different guesses as to what it might have been. Uh, some have said it's um, the clownfish or it's the dory, it's um, just the magnet uh, clip that was brushing off of it or the fish were brushing off of it by accident. But I think um, it's actually a lot more deliberate and somebody actually went through the trouble of picking up corals and moving them over into another part of the tank. So that's no accident. So I have finally caught this perpetrator in action and you'll get to find out in this video who it was. So let's dive right in. Sample tank of what's possible if you have the skills and the money to keep such a beautiful collection of corals, uh, torches, scullies, every variety of um, euphilia, even a mini clam in there. That's pretty awesome. I think this is a cube, probably 20 by 20 by 20 uh, inches, lit by Aqua Illumination Prime. And there is a lid, probably so that no fish jumps out. I'm counting one section, two, three, three extra large fish sections, there's two kind of invertebrate sections, there's four coral beds. Let's uh, take a look at the fish selection. Lots of tanks, uh, small nasso, large nasso, more nassos over here, some scopa, convict, more nassos and rabbit fish, fox face, Who's this yellow guy? I don't think I even recognize who... Well, I've never seen this fish before. If anybody in the comments below knows what it is, what is it, a hogfish? Not sure. Let's focus on this guy. Yeah, that's the guy. That's a gorg slash different invertebrate section. So you've got snails. I like how everything is nice and yellow here. Different types of urchins, gorgonians, and then moving down, more snails, turbo snails. You've got some more urchins. What is it, a sponge? I wonder. Fancy clown. And then moving on to algae section, more snails over here. But also you've got little crabs, um, macroalgae, more macroalgae, and yet another fish section. So more tanks, quite a few powder blues in the selection. You've got, what is it, a, a scopa? I don't think it's a gem tank. I love uh, royal grama, some dories, and finally moving down, some butterflies. I'm curious if these butterflies are eating. And let's take a look at the actual corals, the candy corals. So you've got one, two, three, four tanks. I think the last time when I was here there were only three. And just gonna try and guess what's going on in each one of those uh, tanks. You've got mostly softies. Uh, no, there's some SPS here. We got brain coral. You've got some candy cane. Of course, you're in candy corals, so there's gotta be some candy cane here. 
Um, more corals at the top. The tank, I think, has got a lot more euphilia in the back here. This torches of every perceivable color. So golden. I'm not a torch expert, but there's quite a few varieties. Some gonies. Um, moving on to mushrooms. I guess this is the Recordia mushroom. You've got more euphilia. No, this is not euphilia. No, it is euphilia. Just a very small um, polyps. Some SPS over here. Wow, everything is under radiance in this section. So radiance are lighting things up quite nicely. You got some acans, some beautiful fish. Moving on to this section, you've got more coral over here. Every variety. Lots of, is it bubble coral? Okay, now that is insane. Look at this, so right after the bubble coral, you've got an amazing selection of scolies. Every single color one can think of. So I'm not using any filter here right now. No filter. No filter. And then finally the last tank. So this is lots of smaller frags over here. Now let's take a look at the uh, back room of candy corals. We've got the owner working up on frags. Hi Adnan. How you doing man? It's doing well. You have a few words to say to the channel. How, uh, how long you've been uh, open uh, now? Uh, we've been running this business for, uh, I'd say about nine years now. Nine years? Yeah. Wow. And there's so many tanks. How many frags do you think you've got uh, uh, in your system now? Or how uh, many corals? In terms of colonies, I would say about three, four thousand colonies. Three, four thousand colonies. And then uh, I would say about, I don't know, the first tank itself is about three thousand frags. <laughs> uh, the fourth tank is about another thousand frags. So, yeah, four or five thousand frags in stock. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. So, well, this is uh, very well kept, very clean. I don't see any detritus. Um, and I haven't, I don't think I have seen a, sing, seen a single coral that looked off. Everything looks uh, prime, which is very, very nice. Because you've got a true mixed reef. So, taking a look at this section over here as well. Wow. And look at the sump. Now that's that's a good four by six sump with a whole bunch of live rock. You can see there's sponges and holy smokes, lots of filter feeders. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in the sump before. And I'm afraid to even ask what model of a bubble king this is, but it's probably like a 600 or something. Thought it would be not a bad idea to try and catch uh, whoever is moving my frags around in action. So I don't know yet how I'm gonna do it, but I think I'm going to do it. Because um, I appreciate everybody's advice on YouTube for what I can do. I mean, the range of advice was from raising the frag rack a little bit higher to securing these guys in, um, in a frag rack. So these are all good options, but first and foremost, I think I'm just going to uh, find out who exactly is doing this. And I'll move this uh, little frag, sorry, uh, this little feeder, the uh, mag clip, 
or um, out of the way so that it's definitely not the fish rubbing off of it. So anyways, this is what the frag rack looks like right now. Next is me uh, putting it all organized again. So this actually took a while uh, to put together, but those 20 frags are back in. And just to give you an idea, some of them I actually had to get all the way from the Euphelia garden right over here. So there's just no way that is just a fish rubbing off of it. This is malicious. This is somebody, oh, you can actually see, you see that little frag there? There's still one frag of something that's tucked away under. So this is malicious. This is somebody who's actually trying to deliberately take it out. One of my buddies, uh, Felix, is actually certain that this is not a dory, but it's a pair of clowns that resides in the anemones in the other side of the tank. Um, I don't know. Could be, but somebody is actually picking them up and going through the trouble of moving them easily three feet out and actually <laughs> placing them on a rack that's higher and tucking them in between other corals. All right, so the trap is set and now we wait. Can't really see much from over here, but if I'm hiding underneath the other tank I'm gonna punch in a little bit we may notice something so the dory is out uh, the ras and here are the clowns here comes the clowns Who is going to do it? Who is... Come on! Really? Look at the clown! He's never out and about. Think he's going to do it? I saw Dory nipping at the frags. But I haven't quite got it in action yet. Unfortunately, this didn't quite work. This is uh, getting really annoying since I was not able to capture this mystery fish or creature in action. But since then, because uh, the camera just timed out, I ran it for about an hour and couldn't catch anybody. But since then, I had to yank out those plugs from this rack, from this rack here. And look at this. This just, I noticed this one. Somebody placed it uh, right over here. So I'm gonna go and place it here. And I think I'm gonna run it for another, oh, look, holy smokes, another one. Come on, this is what I'm dealing with. This is just too annoying. All right. The trap is set, uh, I'm gonna do it a second time, so maybe this time the uh, mystery creature will reveal itself.
hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions for Afnan at Candy Corals, you can write them in the comments below. I will make sure to uh, send it over his way. If you want me to visit a few other stores in uh, Ontario, please let me know. I'll combine a list. As well as if you are a local uh, reefer and you wanted to document your reef um, just so that there's something to come back to, please um, let me know um, and I'll be happy to come over and shoot a video. Finally, coming back to my frag tank, what do you think I should be doing to uh, deal with this uh, spicy lemon five-year problem? I um, don't really know what the next steps should be. Um, I could take the dory out. That's the easiest probably solution, but also I like the fish. I don't know what I would be doing with it. Do I move it to another frag tank? Do I move it over here and take this dory out? But maybe there is a better option to deal with this. If you can um, suggest something, please let me know. And I'll definitely think about it because I like the fish. I don't want it to go into another tank. That means uh, maybe there is, a, there is an option out there somewhere. Finally, um, there's a really cool video coming up next Sunday. We are going to pay my good friend Dane a visit with his 400 gallon aquarium. And this time I shot a lot of uh, video of the tank. There's lots of going around the tank um, and just geeking out on all the corals that he's got. Um, there's lots of changes to the aquarium. He's got new equipment. So stay tuned. Next Sunday, I'll be publishing another video. Thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe.